All right, the last thing, closing the accounts. Um, just like it is with any accounting cycle. We close them, then we do a post-closing trial balance. All right, so in governments, we have those budget accounts, so we have to close those, right? Because appropriations, they're for that one year. And I think we talked about this in Chapter 3. If you don't use it, you lose it, right? So we zero out the budget accounts, and we close revenues, expenditures, encumbrances, because anything that's encumbered might get paid for next year, but it's not coming out of this year's. And um, uh, zero those st things out. So it's just like how we close revenues and expenses for regular financial accounting and our governmental accounting. We're closing the revenues and expenditures and some of those other interesting accounts like budget accounts. All right, and remember, we're closing them out to the funds balance. All right, so this number is what you plug in, right? Whatever the balance is in appropriations, you debit. Other financing, you debit. Whatever the balance is in revenues, you credit. This is estimated revenues, right? So these are the budgetary accounts. So estimated revenues have a debit balance. Real revenues have a credit balance, but these are just estimated revenues, so we don't need them around anymore. Estimated other financing, 5000 So you add these two, you add these two, or you take this plus this, minus this, minus this, and the difference is this plug right here. We call that a plug. And it's budgetary fund balance. Of course, if you were to look at your budgetary fund balance, that's what it would be. So you zeroed out the budget. That's what this is for. All right. Of course, debits have to equal credits. And that's where you get that number from. You have to close encumbrance accounts. And then you open them up next year, right? Because an encumbrance means you've committed to buy something or committed to pay somebody something, uh, committed to use some funds in a certain way, you know, pay for school lunches or something, right? So, so encumbrance, you close it for year one, and then you reopen it again in year two. So whatever the encumbrance balance is, that's where you get that, right? You, whatever your encumbrance balance is, is what you're using here. So you take that and you debit that. I mean, you credit that, right? Because your encumbrances have debit balances, right? Because then your expenditures are going to end up with the credits. All right, so you're going to take your 500 and your 500 and you've closed that out. You reopen it the next year. I know it's weird, but this is like a closing entry for year one, and you reopen it in year two. Encumbrances five hundred thousand, and budgetary fund balance five hundred thousand. So it's just two entries you do to reestablish the encumbrances. And the activity accounts get closed. So we close budgets, right? At the first of the year, we put down all our budget stuff. Close that out. As the year went along, we made encumbrances. We closed that out. Put it back on the next year, because, yeah, those computers are going to get delivered, whatever. You know, we need those encumbrances to stay. Um, and now we close the activity. So this would be the same as a business closing their revenues and expenses. We're going to close our revenues and expenditures and other financing and special item accounts, which is like other financing and selling special items would be like revenues. Uh, so we close out those to the fund balance. So all your revenues minus your expenditures gives you this plug, right? One million two debits equal credits. So that's our new fund balance right there. Or if there was fund balance before, now we've uh, credited it million two. All right. So that's how you close that. Then. When you present you, that fund balance, so we've moved everything into the fund balances, right? We've moved all our revenues and expenditures and moved that over to the fund balance for our activities for the year. And when we show our fund balances, we have to split them up, 
right? So we've been keeping track of this, don't worry. But we have been keeping track of the fund balances, and so when we report the fund balance on the um, financial statements, right, they're going to get reported in the categories we've already talked about, the non-spendable, which were those things like um, prepaid rent, um, inventory, things that literally cannot be turned into cash, uh, restricted, things that are restricted from outside, right, so a grantor or a state government told the city government you have to spend this on this, right, you, you don't, the, the government we're reporting on has no choice about how the funds get spent, committed and assigned, uh, the government itself has said we're gonna, we've I've committed them, they, they can't be used for anything else. I've assigned them. Uh, I've said I'm going to use this. I haven't actually ordered the thing, but I've said I'm going to use it. And uh, unassigned is it's just out there for whatever use. And um, in reality, you've been tracking these different categories all along, but um, we're not going to do that in this chapter. All right. Go do some homework. <laughs>